so she gets the flowers, right? She gets the long, dedicated... So, so watch that full video for context, but she's pretty much saying that her ex-boyfriend or whatnot gave the next person everything that she wanted. Now, I'm not saying that that dude is a narcissist, but if he is... That's exactly what a narcissist would do. A narcissist will literally take the stuff that you want, need, beg for, and give it to the next person. You know why? Because you wanted it, you needed it, and you begged for it. And because you did all of that, the narcissist, like in our minds, we know it's going to work on the next person. Or we, at least we can try to let it make it work on the next person because you know what? Everybody is different and it might not work, but at least we try to be nice and sweet. We gave her flowers, but maybe she don't like flowers. We posted her on our social media or him on our social media. I know y'all thinking women can be narcissists too. Narcissists will give them literally everything that you ever wanted and needed. And it's all going to be a facade because it'll end just like your relationship did. Can't hold it up forever. Let's get it. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. I am self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, aka Mental Hillness from TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. I'm a little bit of everywhere, y'all. If this is your first time seeing my face, this series is dedicated to bringing awareness to mental health disorders and also validating the victims and survivors of said abuse. I am a diagnosed narcissist, and this is my TikTok right here. So in this TikTok, I pretty much go into what the new supply is going to get. The new supply, the next person, whoever the narcissist chooses to be next, your, your replacement or whatnot, is going to get everything that you ever wanted. Everything that you begged for, everything that you pleaded for, everything that you planned for the future for, every, like literally everything that you wanted, they're going to give it to the next person. And that's just the narcissist pattern. The narcissist, like, if you were the next person, the narcissist gave you everything the previous person wanted. Sometimes the next, and sometimes I get people that have been the new supply, the next supply, they respond to me. It's like, yep, that's exactly what happened to me. He gave me everything the old person wanted. Man or woman, male, female, whatnot. You know what I mean? Because that's the plan, though. And it works. A narcissist will literally, you know, we, I'm a self-aware narcissist, we use the, you know, the information that we get from you that you want the stuff that you wanted, the stuff that you needed, the stuff that you asked for and begged for and whatnot, and give it to the next person because we know it works on people. Like me, I'm a man, uh, he, him, and whatnot. You know, I'm just a cisgender man. So if I'm like dating a girl and she's asking me to give her all this stuff, and I was like, okay, cool. I know that she wants that. I know that it works. I know this is what women want. So maybe the next person I re replace her with or the next person in my life, maybe this stuff will work on her. So I'm using the stuff I got from you to love bomb the next person. And of course, it looks it's going to look good from the outside looking in. It's going to look, you know, the diamonds, the roses, whatever, the trips, the cars, the house that you wanted, the family that you um, that you wanted to start and things like that. Of course, it's all going to look good on the outside looking in because that's the point. Because that's why, that's why that's why people tell you to go no contact because it's showtime. If you're watching the narcissist, so, so, <clears throat> if you're watch, watching your ex narcissist social media, then it is showtime. It is literally showtime then, because now they're gonna put on a show to to hurt you, and to sometimes it'll actually be used to hoover you back in because the fact that the narcissist is giving the next person everything that you wanted, it seems like they have changed. It seems like we, the narcissist, has changed. So you like maybe they wasn't as bad a person that as I thought they were. Maybe they have changed. So if I do break up with this person, if I do. Um, get discarded by this person or I discard the, the new person, I can come back to you because you think I've changed based on what I did with them. So that's why I say you have to protect your peace when you're dealing with narcissists because like it's always going to look good on the end, from the outside looking in. I guarantee you in your relationship, when you got love bombed by this narcissist, I guarantee you from the outside looking in, it looked like the the, the you know fairy tale romance. But on the inside, it was a, fair, it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare romance. You were getting the business. <laughs> you know what I mean? You was getting the yelling, the screaming, the gaslighting, the lying, the cheating, the manipulation. You were getting blamed for everything. You were getting the, with the, the, you know, you were getting the uh, affection withheld and all the other good stuff because it's, it's the facade. It's like the image. Like we want to put on a good image for people. So we like you know. So when we if we do break up, if we do go decide to go our separate ways, guess who looks good and look good, looks great. Because our, my image is protected because a lot of times you don't even tell anybody what's going on outside the relationship. You are a private person. You know, I've, I've convinced you to be a private person. Hey, look, I don't like be, I don't like people posting the, posting um my personal information on social media. So I'm kind of a private person. I don't want anybody else in our relationship uh, from the outside. 
Um, so can we keep our relationships off, off of social media? If we have any arguments, can we just keep that to ourselves? You see, I just protected myself. Now, if we break up and you come out with all this, you, you tell them the truth. So you come out with all this stuff, you're talking junk about me. People have a hard time believing it because they thought we had the fairy tale romance. We were relationship goals. We had everything going on. You know what I mean? We had literally, literally, from the outside looking in, we were the people that we were the goals that people um, strive for relationship wise. We became that. You know, we were it. So people have a hard time. People are going to have a hard time believing you. Based on my reputation and based on how I've, how I've protected myself and we've been private, even your family will have a hard time believing it because you sometimes you get too embarrassed to tell your family what's going on. You know what I mean? So don't always get caught up. And that's why I tell people go no contact. Like you have to, like y'all, you literally have to go no contact with these people. You can't watch the social media because it'll drag you down to the depths of your own personal hell. It will drag you down to the depths. It'll hurt you. It'll make you feel worthless. It'll make you feel. It'll make you feel less valuable because they're treating the next person better, and you start wondering what's wrong with you. You start wondering what's wrong with you, and a lot of times we've told you what you, we, what we think is wrong with you. We've told you like, hey, you're too needy. You're too pushy. You're too aggressive. You're too this. You're too that. You mean? You're too this. You you're too much. You get on my nerves. You talk too much. You invalidate me. You emasculate me. You made me feel like less of a woman. You do this, you do that. So you start to believe that stuff. Sometimes you start to believe that stuff. Because like now you're like, maybe she's doing whatever I said I wouldn't. Maybe she's doing everything he said that I wouldn't do. I have to change. I have to, be, I have to change. I'm such a terrible person. He, uh, he replaced me so easily. And all this stuff can be used to... S <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. All this stuff can be used to suck you back into the relationship. So that's why the, the, the new supply, like people ask me all the time, is he going to treat the next person better? Yes, it's going to look like he's treating the next person better. And he probably, he or she probably is treating the next person better because they have to. Because they have to love bomb the person. It's patterns. Watch the pattern recognition. You got love bomb. He gave you everything. He, like, he was treating you like a diamond. You know, he was treating you like a diamond at first. You know, she was treating you like a, a, a diamond at first. You know what I mean? She was treating you, she was giving you the best treatment. He, uh, they were giving you the best treatment at first. And then eventually got to the point where it disintegrated the the, the like the narcissist the, the the flip the switch flipped in the narcissist's mind and then the love turned off. It's going to it more than likely will happen in the next relationship and it might be longer than your relationship. Don't worry about it. Don't focus on that. I know it's easy for me to say, but like you have to take back your power because that's a power move on the narcissist part because you're watching them. They ain't watching you. You're watching them. They don't have to watch you because you spend all your time watching them, watching us, and we just chilling. We're, you know, posting stuff on Facebook or social media. Like, I'm the happiest I've ever been. Your heartbreak because you watching my social media. Oh, he's happy with all me. Oh, my goodness. You mean, I found my soulmate. Oh, we were together for 10 years. I wasn't his soulmate. Oh, stop watching the social media, yo. The next supply. If it's, if it's, it's like, it also depends on how they met the next supply. If the next supply is a mistress or a side dude then they would never trust that person because they cheated with them. Like, hey, you cheated with, you were cheating with me. So I don't trust you. So their relationship already started off on a negative note. And it's going to be so controlling and toxic from the outside. Like, oh my goodness. Trust me. Stop watching the social media, y'all. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. I have to get this thing posted. If y'all like this series, please let me know. Please comment, like, subscribe, and whatnot. And share this thing to other people. We have to raise awareness for narcissistic personality disorder and get more people into therapy if possible. And, you know, Help people heal. Thank you for tuning in. Mental illness is out. Peace.